All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the music just stopped. I was mid grinning. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, are we here? <laughs> Let me get myself together. I promised myself I was going to be good tonight because we got to get some important information out there. So, <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> yes, indeed. So, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, uh, this is our Avidity Awards pre event, pre live event. We're so glad you guys are with us today, tonight. I'm Derek Huggins, the founder and CEO of the Avidity Awards, along with my most esteemed colleague, the wonderful, beautiful, the effervescent, always lively, sometimes say, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Carmina, are you excited? I am. I am. And I want to appreciate you. So I wanted to do something a little different tonight. And okay. you and the entire team were just so with it. And I appreciate you guys so much. But as I was connecting with people and really kind of talking to them about the upcoming awards, people kept saying, well, you know, what is the Avidity Awards? Tell us, what, you know, what, what, what? And so I think that by taking some time tonight and really kind of letting them know the heart behind it, the mission of it and some of the amazing people that are a part of it. It'll just help people to really understand what it is and why it's something so significant and we want them to be a part. So that was my heart behind tonight. And I want to really appreciate you for going in that direction with us. Absolutely. Well, thank you for being here and hosting this with me, as you always do. You've always been rocking with me all these many years. <laughs> and here we are in uh, year eight as well. Shout out to all of our wonderful friends that are joining us here in the chat. I see you guys. Your shout outs out. We appreciate you guys. Amber Shaw, Anthony Catchings, Martin Christie, Soup. What's going on, Soup? Anthony, uh, all of y'all, everybody. Terry, Kimberly Burks, all y'all. Good to see y'all. Uh, so, Fred Willis. I'm not going to mess with your name this year. This year, I'm not gonna <laughs> we're going forward. <laughs> Well, tech, so, you know, Carmina, before we get started, you always got some one person in the chat that don't know what's going on. Carlos, this this not the, we're not doing that. This ain't the big press event. We're doing that in September. Pay attention. Just be encouraged. No, we, we got it. Don't, don't worry about it. But anyway, we're excited, you guys, tonight to have you guys on. Thank you guys again for um, coming. I know Carmina invited uh, many of our friends at radio and media, so we mm -hmm. appreciate all of you taking time out of your schedule tonight to be with us, to learn more about the Avidity Awards, what we're doing where we've been, where we are now, and where we're headed into the future. So we're, it's going to be a good time tonight. Now, listen, y'all already know how me and Carmina do when we cut up and get together. We're going to try to be good tonight and get through all this information. But y'all just bear with us, all right? Y'all already know it's going to be a good time. And I'm I'm so glad tonight that we have um, uh, several of the members of um, the Avidity staff and team that are going to um, – they're already in the back, uh, the back green room, and we're going to be bringing them on as well but before we do that please everybody that's watching us right now i need you to hit like and then hit share share this the video right now on your timeline let everybody know that we're on so that they can hear more information you know everybody's like what's the video about what is it what what is it what's it so now you're going to get your chance to hear the whole good part of it all right so um let everybody know like and share hit like and share everybody hit like and share for us and the reason we ask you to do that is because the way the fe the facebook algorithm specifically works is it responds and sends it out to more people on our timelines whenever you like it and share it so that's why we're asking you to do that yes and we appreciate that very much so without further ado I'm, this is how we're going to do this i'm going to start it out with like this we're going to introduce the team members that we have on with us can I do one thing real quick? Of course, you want you. I got to shout out Terry that. Allen from the National Association of Black Journalists. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Terry. Okay. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So we're going to introduce all of our staff members that are on, and then I'm going to come back once we've got them all introduced and on. Then we're going to talk about the Avidity Awards, what I it is, questions. how it got started. Mm -hmm. oh, you got questions? I got questions. Oh, you got questions, and I got answers. All right. So without further ado, let's go and get this thing rolling. This young lady is our director of artist relations. Uh, she is from New Orleans, Louisiana. So everybody, welcome to the broadcast, <laughs> Miss Tiffany Hayes French. Hey, Tiffany. Good evening. How are you doing? Oh, we can't oh. hear you that well. Pull, pull your pull your microphone down, baby. <laughs> you know, I'll be forgetting about this little mic here. But I am. <laughs> so well, good to have you on with us. We're gonna talk to you in just a minute. So just sit tight. All right, up next, this young man is our chief of staff and uh, 
director. He's he's like the catch all man. He do all kind of stuff, <laughs> and he hails from Detroit, Michigan, and that is none other than Mister Lonnie Lindell, Lindell, Lindell Cunningham. I was playing. <laughs> the remix. Do we have to do that? We that was supposed to be just. Okay, okay, I got I'm sorry, I this got was it. act right for tonight, y'all. Yes, see, we gotta act but right. You, but see, Con, uh, Lonnie, we have to give them the window into how our team operates. See, behind the scenes, we have a lot of fun. It's a lot. Oh, it's a family okay. environment, camaraderie. Right. <laughs> we agree <laughs> we that again. It's, it's going to be that kind of show tonight, folks. It's going to be that kind of show. Let's go. All right, so without further ado, <laughs> we're going to bring on this next gentleman. Um, I'm so, so proud of this young man. He has just been amazing. He started with us. Um, back in our third year when we were at the Key of Gospel Awards, and now he has come back after a much-needed break. But he is back with us now, and I'm so excited about that. And he is our sponsorship liaison. This is the gentleman that's been reaching out to some of you and that's who will be your contact person. He is from Arkansas, by way, but he's originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but he is now in Arkansas. Y'all welcome to this live stream, Mr. Elton Taylor. Uh, Mr. Randy Watson. <laughs> wow. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Chief. I appreciate that <laughs> rousing introduction. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elton, for being on with us tonight. All right, up next, let's see. We got this gentleman. Listen, this is our newly appointed backstage manager and coordinator. And he is also a radio personality, radio station owner, hails from Birmingham, Alabama. And that is none other than the Mr. Robert Aloysius Barnes. Aloysius. Okay. <laughs> Aloysius. Aloysius. What's going on? Good to see you. How are you uh, doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Aloysius. Yes, indeed. We're glad you're here. All right, y'all. Uh, right on, moving right along. This young lady, she hails from Chicago, Illinois. She is our director of the quartet division, and you know, pretty much, she 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 my left hand woman. She do whatever I need her to do, and she she listen. She's a strong, silent type, but she rolled by fifty deep. So y'all don't mess with me, cause cause I got I got backup and reinforcements. All right, but y'all welcome to the broadcast, <laughs> Miss uh, Terry Allen. <laughs> hey Terry. Hey everybody. What Good what's Terry's you. last name? Hallam. Hallam. Okay. I thought you said yes. that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it, I'm, I'm going to put it in the, uh, I'm going to put it in there too. Okay. <laughs> now listen, y'all, Terry requires um, ushers, so get ready. She's going to be It's coming. Just let y'all know up front. That's hilarious. But oh anyway, so welcome, Terry. Glad to have you on with us tonight. Thank you. All right. And last but certainly, certainly not least, this is the man that keeps me praying on my knees every every week. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He's, but he is such a brilliant mind. Uh, he is a music. He does everything. He's, he's like the jack of all trades. But he also hails from New Orleans, Louisiana. So y'all welcome to our team and on the broadcast, Mr. John Walker Jr. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to be here. <laughs> so good to see you, John. Um, again, shout out to our friends that are in the chat. We appreciate you guys. Hi, Chad Howard, I see you. How you doing? Tamika Jackson, good to see you as well. Pierre Vaughn, y'all, Pierre Vaughn is our, uh, he's a part of our band. He's our drummer for the show. And he does an amazing job at what he does, y'all. He, he He's that dude. And he's going to make sure that all the artists sound amazing the night of the show. So welcome, Pierre, Anthony Young, all of you guys, welcome. All right, so Carmina, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you take the reins. Let's go. What you got for us tonight? I've got questions. All okay, right. so let me shout out also Mark Quinn Middleton, Donald yes. both all of you guys, thank you so much. Kim Agoro, she is the president for the DFW Gym, and she's joined us. Victor Speedy McRae is in the building. <laughs> So to all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you for jumping in. And again, tonight is really about explaining what are the Avidity Awards, you know? What are they? And why is it so important for you to be a part? So I've got questions. So each and every one of the wonderful team members, get ready. <laughs> I start with Sir CEO. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of award shows. Let's just be practical here. There's a lot of gospel award shows. We'll bring it in. There's a lot of them, a lot of different ones in different states and different cities. Kind of talk about why. 
why did the Lord put the Avidity Awards? And we know previously it was something else, but the, the name has now shifted. Why? Why did you decide that this is something I really need to push for? This is something I need to make happen. This is something that can be impactful for artists. Talk about that part. Yeah, of course. And so thank you again for being here, Carmina and everybody. So basically, I, I remember I was in uh, I was at the Stellar Awards in Nashville, Tennessee in the years 2009. And I remember, y'all, I was in the very nosebleed. I was literally in the very last row at the top corner of the Grand Ole Opry, right? Like, literally. I was saying hi to all the little bugs that was crawling up the wall right next to me. Mm -hmm. But no. <laughs> but So I remember enjoying the show, but I remember thinking the entire time, I was like, man, um, I, you know, all our favorites were there. You know, Kirk and Donnie and all of them were there. And I, and I said, man, it would be so great if we had more independent artists represented on the stage because there are so many great artists out there that are independent and they have great music and so literally the lord spoke to me and said you do it and i'm like no nah, lord for real quick playing uh <laughs> he was like no you do it i was like i don't know the first thing about doing an award show i, I wouldn't even know where to start so anyway i just kind of dismissed it out of my mind went on with the show and so several years had passed and um it just impressed upon me. By the time we got around to 2015, it impressed upon me. So, of course, one of the first person I called was Carmina Barnett and um, several of the other uh, people in the, in the city about, you know, putting together like an advisory board to help me start this thing and figure out how to even put it together. And, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, as, as these things, when they're new, you know, a lot of people like, hey, you know, send me some literature. I ain't really trying to feel it right now. You know, come back when you got it together. Um, but that's OK. Carmina stuck with me the whole way, y'all. Carmina went, been with me from the very beginning. Carmina and I think Fitzgerald Davis and uh, Abraham Ayama, I want to definitely shout them out because I think it was us three, four rather, that initially um, started the planning. And then we were able to get other people on board like Giles King and um, several others. And um, we were able to start the first show. And back then it was called the Key of Gospel Awards. And um, the reason we changed the name in 2021 uh, was God told me to shift the dynamic of the show to make the show more palatable and more marketable to um, people who are in non-traditional gospel spaces. So corporate sponsors and people like that. And I was already at the time using the Avidity promotions because I'm a radio promoter. A lot of y'all know that um, about me. And so we, I said, well, we're going to call it the Avidity Awards. And so everybody, this is a common question I get all the time. So everybody watching, this is what the word Avidity means. A V I. <laughs> D-I-T-Y. The word avidity means with great enthusiasm and excitement. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Okay. And y'all can actually go Google that. <laughs> That's what you're going to pull up. All right. <laughs> so the word avidity means with great enthusiasm or excitement. And so I was like, what better name for a gospel award show than avidity, right? With great enthusiasm and great excitement, certainly we should serve the Lord with gladness. Y'all know the scripture. Come on, Bible scholars, right? And so we want to be excited. <laughs> we want to be excited about anything we do for the Lord. And so I thought that was a great name, but it also was a great name because I think it appeals to audiences that may not necessarily be akin to gospel music. So that's where we got started. Now, here is the why. The why is because there are so many wonderful independent artists out there that have great music. And Carmina, you know this, since the pandemic especially, the independents have really stepped their game up. Can my radio people out there, y'all get in the chat and shout us out because the indie artists have really been stepping their game up musically, right? Yes, so, yes, yes. Yes, so what now we see what needs, what's missing now is media. So now we need the, we need the independent artists to get media because what media does, media lends not only visibility, but it lends credibility. Right. And that's where we get the word notoriety from. Notoriety is derivative of having visibility and credibility at the same time. So this is where the award show, I think, plays a very pivotal role in helping independent artists go outside even of just the gospel diaspora, but going out into the music and entertainment industry more broadly. So that's what we're here to do. So that is our why, ladies and gentlemen. Now, real quick, Carmina, let me mm -hmm. just one more thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stop there, though. What we also want to do are things, one part of the vision is helping independent artists start to get endorsement deals from major brand labels, Procter & Gamble, Aflac, other, you know, Walmart, and those other major brands. So 
the the vision is much more broad than just an award show, but it is about television, it's about media, it's about uh, sponsorships and endorsements as well for independent artists. So there we go. Love it. And so you mentioned the Key of Gospel Awards, right? Yes, I did. Let me give y'all a flashback. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, yours truly has one. <laughs> I was blessed to be a recipient there and very excited about that. And so we wanted to do that first to kind of give you an introduction to the who and the why, you know. And let me shout out Cedric Bailey, y'all. One of my yes. mentors who's been doing this thing, been truly a blessing. And a lot of us have learned from him. So really appreciate him being on with us. Absolutely. So you heard the CEO say that. One of the key targets is our independent artists. You heard that, right? So, Terry, I come to you because you represent independent artists. And you way over there. <laughs> but talk about what drew you to the Avidity Awards. Even before becoming a part of the team, you know, your artists were participating and being a part of it. What drew you in as a, a manager and a, a booking person for an independent artist? Well, <clears throat> what really drew me in, um, I met um, Derek through the Independent Artist Showcase, the 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 clubhouse room, mm -hmm. which is where we first uh, met. We were introducing our music in the clubhouse room, uh, the headphones room, um, as independent artists, and we got to meet several people there and that's how Derek and I connected uh first before I even knew anything about the Ovidia Awards we connected in Clubhouse through those independent artist rooms where um all <laughs> information gurus are in there giving away giving this information away for free and I believe if I'm not mistaken at that time we were the only quartet artists uh, in those rooms at that time. And I think uh, we were there no matter how many times the room came up, we were there getting the information. And uh, uh, Derek and everybody else was imparting so much into us. And then he called us and uh, asked us to be a part of uh, the Avidi Awards, and we were the first quartet group to ever be presented on the Avidi Awards. Um, <laughs> and now this is our third year performing, and we're so happy to be a part. But what drew me, uh, even before I became a part of the team, was that how everybody that I met uh, in the process of being an artist and managing a group was that everybody was just so open and welcoming. Uh, and I can't say honestly that we feel that way everywhere uh, by being quartetters. I, I just can't, but uh, this was uh, such an eye-opening and such a learning experience for all of us, me as a manager and the Holy Sons and a, as an artist. Uh, and then I, I also managed another uh, independent group, with, but we've learned so much. That's what I want to just drive home. We learned so much in this connection with the Video Awards, with the Indie Artist Help Desk, everything. I mean, we've learned <laughs> so much in this three years. And um, when David, uh, when uh, Derek approached me to become a part, I was just like so honored to uh, be a part of such a significant group of people, such a wonderful group of people who welcomed me and make, made me feel like I've been here the whole, you know, eight years. But yeah, so it's wonderful. Uh, being an independent artist, I find that it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of work, a lot of work, but uh, we, we're treading through it uh, with everybody's help. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. And I'm so glad you shared that. And I'm glad you brought up about the artists that you represent, because that is one thing about the Avidity Awards. Yes, we support quartet groups. Ah, let me make sure I say that out loud. 
<laughs> we do recognize that that is a cornerstone in gospel music. So absolutely, they are represented. And not only just with the award categories, but also in stage performance. You'll see them, as she mentioned about the Holy Sons, they will be performing. Hey, Roger Jemison. They will be performing on the stage as well. And Terry, take a moment real quick for those um, media people that are joining us. Shout out your groups and let them know so that they can be supporting them. Yes, we are. One of my groups is the Exciting Holy Sons. Uh, we are of Chicago, of course. Uh, we, uh, you can find us on Facebook as the Exciting Holy Sons official or the Holy Sons number one on Twitter and um, Instagram. Uh, our second group is female. I call them the female version of the Exciting Holy Sons, Earth and Vessels. And they are a group. They're both groups are family. With brothers, sisters, uncles, and cousins. So, uh, yes, and you can find the Earthen Vessels as Earthen Vessels on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Love it. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. And y'all listen, tonight we are explaining who the Avidity Awards are. So, I need you to also go to the website, it's the Avidity Award.com. That way you can see all of the dates. You know, we're just giving you a quick overview tonight, but there are so many different events that are going to be happening during this time. And we're going to talk more about that coming up, but also just find out more about the organization as a whole. You hear, you heard Terry talking about the clubhouse. There's all kinds of informational opportunities to learn and grow as independent artists. And even for us that are on the industry side, there are opportunities to learn, to connect, to grow. Isn't that what we all trying to do? Amen. Can I get amen in the church? Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, she talked about her artist, but we have a young lady who deals with the artists, especially as they'll be participating this year in performances and things like that. That is the evangelist, Tiffany French, evangelist. <laughs> now, Tiffany, you have been a part of this organization for a very long time. And you've had the opportunity to just see it grow and grow and continue to grow. Kind of talk about it from your perspective on why the Avidity Awards is something so special for independent artists. I think you can really speak to this. Well, I've been a part um, three years. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, been around for a while, but <clears throat> actually working with Avidity Awards been, I came in one day just to be there for support. And then, uh, of course, you know, if you're used to dealing with or being a part of something and you see something where you can help, of course, that's where you're going to go. You're going to go and help. You're going to get, you know, get down to the nitty gritty and get it done, get it done. So um, as being a part, now I knew it before when it was key of gospel awards. I just never went to the awards totally. But when he did like the New Orleans chapter, we call it the South, Southern region or something. Um, it was different even then the way we the way um the artists were appreciated for being independent artists and then the way they were actually acknowledged for their hard work whether it was just in the church or whether it was just community um community service as a singer because you know a lot of our independent artists do a lot of things in the community yeah. so um being a part of a video awards is very very special because i've seen it go from one level to the other it amazed me every year so like last year was like we didn't know what to do because the lights had us going and running around and and the artist was excited like those who were independent those independent artists were supporting each other yeah it was like they were screaming and hollering and yelling and and oh i like that and they were even like I guess you want to say fans of them, mm -hmm. you know, and them being fans of each other. So it just was a whole lot of the energy is just crazy. Uh, I think we all be on a high. The experience is just phenomenal. It's right. just amazing. So being being in that atmosphere and even talking to them, people don't realize that they are being seen, that people are listening and some of the artists be so amazed. They'd be like, really, you like it? I, I didn't think it was going to actually matter. But they don't even know their own capability until somebody start telling them something. So, yeah. I mean, it's an opportunity for them to have, to be among each other mm -hmm. 
and to be among so many different uh, people that come from all over and then making that network, you know, networking with each other and then right. building those different relationships. And I think it's amazing how they start building relationships. It makes you feel good because you're in the midst of it. Exactly. exactly. That's good. That's good. And y'all, Tiffany is 100% Nowlands. So listen, <laughs> this year we're going to have to strap her to the seat because she's going to be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but she brought up an excellent point. And Derek, I want you to talk about this because I've seen artists come to the Avidity Awards, connect. And then from that, we're seeing collaborations. We're yeah. seeing people working together with production. I mean, we're yeah. seeing how I think it's supposed to be done. But yeah. speak to that because I know you get the testimonies. Yeah. And so thank you for even mentioning that. I think that's a really important aspect of what we do. Um, I've often, as you know, Carmina and the staff is on here. I tell them every week when we meet, I tell them we want to be known as the customer service friendly show. Um, I've taken over my many years, not just as we've been doing the Avidity Awards, but my 25 years plus in the music industry, starting out as an artist manager. I talk to a lot of independent artists who always share their experiences with me when they've gone to other award shows. And unfortunately, they've not always had a, a pleasant experience in terms of just their overall, not, not talking about necessarily the show or the production, but more so about what's happening behind the scenes. Um, are people being nice to them? You know, just those sorts of things. And one of the things that I love about our show is that we often get told that our show for a lot of these artists, they love feeling the genuine love in the room. Right. They love um, having that opportunity to really network and they feel like it's genuine love from the other artists. But our staff, our crew, anybody that's working with us with the show, they talk about how that has blessed them and how they really feel inspired and motivated to keep moving forward. And I'm going to tell you, Carmina, I've consistently underestimated how important this show is to our our not only just our genre, but to the music industry. And, and I say that for this reason. I, I have always believed that there is um, there is a wealth of a wealth to gain when you have diversity and inclusion, and that means artists that may not have the name ID, the name recognition, they're not a household name yet. However, I remind people every single time I talk to them that the artists we know today, Jacqueline Carr, Kiara Shear, Kalante Gavin, Kirk Franklin who we know is the goat of gospel at this point, right? Mary Mary, those, those artists all were unknowns at one time. Nobody knew who they were. And so it's important that we, those of us who are especially working um, as creatives and professionals in the industry, whether that be in radio or labels or whatever, that we recognize the importance of independent artists and that we're keeping our bench full. And what that means is we're pulling from people, not just recognizing the mainstays that we know and love today, but also recognize we need to be pulling up some of these other ones that are new and emerging and include them into the conversation. And so that's what the Avidity Award stands to do. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you said that. And let me shout out Antoinette Hamilton. Is hey. that in the spirit? Thank you for yes. us. Now, now, Robert Barnes, I'm going to pull you in right there on the point that Derek just made because you've been fortunate to be on both sides. So to be able to support the national artists as well as support the independent artists. So what drew you to want to be a part of the Avidity Awards when the key is, the key target is the independent artists to give them that opportunity? Uh -oh, Dr. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he could hear you one minute ago. Now, well, you know, he got about 14 jobs. He's probably what made me want to be a king. Y'all hear me? <laughs> we can yeah. hear you. Oh, we can. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what made me want to be a part of the Avidity Awards? First of all, uh, I was blown away at the professionalism and uh, the first time I experienced the Avidity Awards. But then I saw um, the platform that uh, Derek Huggins has created that really pushes the independent artists. And um, even in Memphis, I noticed not only the independent artists were present, but the major artists were present. And so um, you're blending, you're blending uh, two sets of artists that would not normally be like on the same playing field. And I was really inspired by that. Plus, like I said, the professionalism, um, how everything was put together. And I think it's a great platform uh, for independent artists. I, I really do. I, I highly recommend it to so many independent artists. I talk about it all the time. Um, 
So that's what made me want to be a part of it immediately, whether I was nominated or on a team or anything. Avidity is where it is and where it's at, if I may say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So y'all, again, the website is theavidityawards.com, theavidityawards.com. Dot com. I want to make sure I stress that if you're a part of the media or if you're an independent artist, it's still not too late. If you want to be a part, you can go to the website. Uh, there's also sponsorship opportunities that's available. I got to make sure I put that out there as well. And Derek, if you would take a moment and give them those dates so everybody can kind of start planning, look at their calendars and make sure they join us in New Orleans. Yeah, absolutely. So the entire weekend, you guys, is going to be October 12th through the 15th. OK, so that's four days of jam packed excitement, fun, camaraderie, fellowship, praise, worship, laughter, everything. You're going to find it in that four day span of time. So let's just start with on Thursday is going to be our masquerade sneaker ball. And we're really, really excited about that because it's the first time we're doing that here with the Avidity Awards. This is actually the most expansive weekend we've ever done with the show. Like we've never done this many events um, in a weekend. So I, I, we'll, we'll come with our track shoes and eat our Wheaties. But that said, um, the uh, Masquerade Sneaker Ball is a really going to be a really fun event. It's going to be an opportunity for everyone to come and fellowship, dance, laugh have a good time, fellowship with each other. It's just kind of like a warm-up event, if you will. And it's going to give an opportunity for those um, that are coming in to join us to really enjoy themselves. And so we're going to do that. And a really cool thing that we're going to, we kind of formatted a little bit after the balls that happened down in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. And so we're going to do, a, we're going to coordinate a king and a queen. Okay. So we're going to have a king and a queen that will be crowned at the masquerade ball. And so here's the flyer I put up on just so you guys can kind of see more about it and all that good stuff. But the tickets are only $50. Put on your sneakers, put, you know, get on your, your good, good gown, right? Ladies, put, put your body magics on and do what you got to do and make it happen. <laughs> but anyway, come on down, uh, fellas, put on your tuxedos, put on your sneakers and let's come on and have a good time. Bring your little mask and, uh, you know, dress up and let's just have a good time and really enjoy. And then we're going to uh, coordinate and crown our king and queen of the night. Now, listen, if you want to be considered to be a king or a queen of the night, you have to be there. So the only way <coughs> you can, <coughs> no, Carmina, you cannot. Staff is excluded. From... <laughs> Avidity staff, I'm sorry. You cannot mm -hmm. uh, participate. However, I think y'all can veto that in the chat. <laughs> 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 but um, mm -mm. so come on out to that. Those tickets are on the website right now. They're available. They're only $50. Come be a part of that. Listen, it's going to be a great time. I got some great surprises that night. We're going to have performances going on at the Masquerade Ball. There's a lot going to be happening that night. So you definitely want to come on out. And then guess what? Immediately following the Masquerade Ball on that Thursday, October 12th, is going to be our Shed series, the Singers and Musicians Shed is going to be going on as well, all right? And that's going to be hosted by our music director, Mr. Morgan Turner, is going to be hosting that. Now, singers, musicians, if you think you can sing, if you're in the New Orleans or surrounding areas, or if you are traveling to New Orleans to be a part of the Avidity Awards, we want to encourage you. We want to hear what you got, you know? You got the chops, you know, all our drummers, you know, keyboardists, bass guitarists, you know, whatever you do, do you sing? Like, come on, D dust, dust the wind off and, and let's go. Let's let's hear what you got. But it's free. This is a completely free event. You can come to that and then you can. But we do ask if you want to participate in the shed that you register. All right. And you do that by going to our website, the avidity And when you pull up our website, you will see um, there is a button over to the far right that says singers and musicians shed. That's where you click on that button and fill out that information so that we know that you're interested in participating. Uh, shout out. Shout out to our uh, music director, Morgan Turner who's going to be hosting that night and y'all. And if y'all know Morgan, anybody that knows Morgan Turner, you know, everybody should know Morgan. And I want to congratulate Morgan real quick because Morgan um, produced the record for Zaccardi Cortez that just won those three seller awards. So we want to congratulate him on that. And we also want to congratulate him on being uh, them for being nominated for, I believe two Dove awards, GMA Dove awards as well. So, Anyway, Morgan's going to be there, but Morgan is a ball of laughs and fun. So it's going to be a good time. So come on out to the Musicians and Singers Shed 
going to be on that uh, Thursday night right after the masquerade ball. All right. Then guess what? On Friday, we're going to be honoring some of the best in the industry. Um, that's going to be our independent gospel music hall of fame breakfast. This year we're honoring Tracy Bethay of iHeartRadio. We're going to be honoring Dr. Liz Black, uh, radio personality from New York. We're going to be honoring the program director at Heaven 100.1, Edwin the Chef Wright, down in Charleston, South Carolina. We're honoring Roderick Purvis, who was in the chat. I don't know if he's still in the chat, uh, who is the program director of WLLV in Louisville, Kentucky. And we're honoring Talisa Stinson. Uh, listen, if you've been in this industry any amount of time, you know who Talisa Stinson is, an amazing person. We're honoring her. And we're also honoring uh, Roger Willis. Roger Willis, New Beginnings Mastering um, on his work as a mastering engineer. Y'all, seriously, and I kid you not, Roger has probably mastered about half of the popular records in gospel music, independent and record label, main record label alike. He has mastered all kinds of records for Donna McClurkin and everybody. So we're honoring those people on that uh, Friday morning, October the 13th. And then Friday night is our pre-show, October uh I'm sorry, October the 13th at night at 7 o'clock. The red carpet starts at 5 o'clock. So make sure that you show up, right, so that you can get your picture taken and be interviewed by the media that's going to be on site for the red carpet. And then the main show, I'm, I'm sorry, the pre-show starts at uh, 7. And then right after the pre-show. So y'all got your, are y'all tired yet? Don't get tired because we got more to go. All right. Then after the pre-show, we're doing our pre-show, after pre-show bowling party. Okay. So we're going to be at Bolero there in uh, Kenner. And we're going to be bowling right after the pre-show that night. I want to see where my bowl is at. Like, who, you know, can y'all do like uh, Fred Flintstone, Twinkle Toes? Carmina, can you? Well, Carmina, I already seen you. Don't don't worry about it. Don't answer that. <laughs> Car Carmina did decent, like y'all, you know. Yeah. I had a, I she, she did all right. She did all right. No, but anyway, so we're going to be bowling, you guys, <laughs> that night. And then on Saturday, October 14th, that's the big, big day. It's the 8th Annual Avidity Awards. And yes, it is dubbed the biggest night in independent gospel music. Guess what? The red carpet starts at 3 p.m. And the main show and television taping begins at 6 p.m. sharp. All right. We are going to have some amazing performances and including our uh, host, Mr. B. Slade. And uh, we're excited about him being there. And guess what? Early bird tickets are already available right now on our website. You get up to 30% off if you get your tickets between now and August the 27th. So if you are coming to the Avidity Awards, you need to go ahead and get your tickets while you can get the early bird pricing. Amen? And they're really good pricing. Pricing and the early bird starts from $15 all the way up to $75. So definitely go get those tickets and check that out right now. Um, I, I failed to mention this about our pre-show. Justin Rufus, who is a mainstay in quartet especially, but let me tell you something. He is a great host, and he's going to be hosting our pre-show. Very funny, very engaging, and he can sing. So definitely want to uh, be there for that in the pre-show. And then our main show host is B. Slade. He's also going to be performing that night. And I'm telling y'all, it is going to be absolutely electric. So you want to be there. And then finally, on Sunday, October the 15th at 1 o'clock from 1 to 5, we're going to have our Indie Artist Help Desk live session. So for those of you who have missed all of our uh, Indie Artist Help Desk sessions on Clubhouse, you can get the live version of it on that Sunday for those that are going to be staying over on Sunday. We do everything in that room. We talk about mastering, songwriting, production, radio promotions, right? All of that, everything that an independent artist would need to know to be successful in the industry you're going to learn in that four-hour session so come on out and be a part of that so that's the recap if you want more information definitely go on the website again www.theavidityawards.com back to you carmina all right so you heard the rundown you heard everything that's happening so now you can plan your outfits accordingly yes. let me shout out michael lee a constant supporter and Listen, just awesome. Just absolutely awesome. And also, Bishop Marquise Williams. Now, if y'all have not heard his new single. Yes. Ooh, that's all I'm going to say. Cedric Lyons, thank you so much for being on, y'all. We just wanted to make sure that you knew what the Avidity Awards was all about. I got the question more than a couple of times, and I said, you know, CEO, let's talk about it. Let's let the people know what's our heart behind it, you know? And then 
we got to introduce this wonderful team. There is one brother. Now, I guess we picked him up maybe the last couple of weeks. I don't I just turned around and there he was. But he's amazing, y'all. And we are so honored to have him on the team. His name is Elton, Dr. Elton. Tell everybody, first of all, welcome. We are so happy to have you as part of the family. But tell everybody a little bit about what you're going to be doing as part of the team. Oh, thank you so much, Carmina. So I am in a somewhat different capacity this time around, uh, working with sponsor uh, relations. And so really liaising between the partners who really make the show happen uh, on the financial side of things. And so we, uh, we certainly rely on the support of, of businesses of all sizes, you know, various ministries, as well as, you know, media personalities, recording artists, labels, booking managers, you know, anyone who's in the music industry space, because, you know, as we all, we say amongst ourselves quite often, this is an industry gathering. So it's not just, you know, it's, it's not just another musical event where we all come together and hear great music, but this is an industry gathering where we are convening indie artists, you know, and all the people who make indie artists shine in one place. And so in this capacity, I'm really helping to steward those relationships. And so we are re who's watching us on this live stream who is interested in becoming a sponsor we would love to have you join uh, our wonderful partners who are helping to undergird the financial um, expense of putting on this amazing event that you know as you heard earlier from the various testimonies is really impacting artists at all levels um, and, and one of the things that really the Key of Gospel team. Um, I worked in for years three and four for the Key, and the Key of Gospel Awards, is that so many people who are getting up on Sundays and singing two, three, sometimes four times, you know, they're pushing singles, they're going to, you know, musicals and all kinds of stuff. And you have no idea how encouraged they are by this show. Uh, just the fact that they're nominated, even if they don't win, the fact that they're nominated, it means so much to the artists and the various people who are recognized for their achievements. You know, year eight, new beginnings. This is, you know, as Derek says in our weekly meetings consistently, this is going to be the best show yet. And so we want to make sure that our sponsors are part of that excitement as well. Exactly. And I was just teasing y'all. He is like absolutely amazing. He's put together some packages that everybody can be a part. You know, sometimes you go to things and you're like, well, I want to support. And it's like, yeah, our base package is $15,000. I can't do that. So, you know, he's put together some reasonable things where people at every level can be a part of it. And so we really appreciate that. And if you go to the website, oh, there you go. You can see the different packages. So minimal, minimal investment, but great return. So definitely consider those. Go to the website if you're a business owner or even if you have a organization, maybe you're a manager, maybe you have a team of artists, whatever the case, there's great opportunities there to be a part of it and get you out in front of, you know, a great audience of people. One of the things that I really appreciate, and of course, it's spelled out on the website, you have an opportunity to sponsor an award. You can give an award in your name. That is the coolest thing ever. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the Carmina Barnett Award. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring out which one I want just yet. I don't know if I want the quartet. Or if I, want, I don't know, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, time is ticking, but we got to do this, y'all. This brother, I give him the hardest time because I love him. I just do. But we work together and behind the scenes, we always try to make sure that we're paying attention to details. And hopefully it's our prayer that that comes across when you join the Avidity Awards, when you come and you're sitting in the audience, you're able to enjoy everything because the details have been taken care of. And that is none other than Lonnie Cunningham. 
You know, we work a lot behind the scenes. And Lonnie, talk about that because I know your heart, especially as it relates to this. Why it's so important to take care of those details behind the scenes? Uh, well, first you gotta you have to make sure things is that the team is cool and collective. You gotta have somebody to balance that back area to make sure things are divided um, amongst the whole team. Um, and I just, I think that's a, that's been a good talent of mine is making sure and paying attention to small details that people go, oh, you, I didn't think about that. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, well, we're gonna get that to you. And that's pretty much what our CEO, Derek has done with me um, and bringing me to the team. Um, the Avidi Awards last year was awesome. Just to see, For real. I mean, just to see right when the red carpet started, I have never seen artists. Nobody gave nobody a, you know, a shade look, as we would say. Everybody was giving out cards, passing out information. Uh, you can find me on this media uh, platform. I mean, they were sharing information and I'm sitting at the table like, okay, see, this is what we all need to do. So wait, I'm sorry. Let me make sure I'm hearing you right. So you're saying it wasn't a competition? It was not no. a competition. Mm -hmm. and, and let me interject. <laughs> let me just interject this real quick. Even in the performances on stage, all the artists were getting with each other. Like they were rooting for each other. Like they were like hype, like hyping them up on, you know, when they were on stage, it was such an incredible feeling. So I'm sorry, Lonnie. I just wanted to share. No, you're fine. Even, I mean, from beginning to the end. Now, let me tell y'all a little insight. These background singers. My to go. <laughs> you, you, had, you had artists looking like, wait a minute. I didn't. <laughs> So I wasn't ready. Wait, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. But I mean, from greeting the people, from getting the awards together, um, making sure the vendors were taken care of, um, making sure they were loaded in, loaded out. Um, and, and that's what our customer service is about, especially for our artists, because especially when artists comes to platforms like this, they're nervous and they need somebody to greet them you know, with a smile. And that's one thing that our team is excellent on, as Derek said, is to greet the people right. And that that sets the tone. As soon as they walk in the door, that's what they need to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I'm sorry, I have to I have to just I have to just piggyback on that because listen, I, I I'm cognizant of the fact that these artists have traveled far. To be honest, a lot of times we have a lot more people who travel to the show than are in that local area. I do think that's gonna be different with New Orleans only because we've had a aggressive um, outreach campaign in the city directly. So I think that will be different this year. But my point is when people are traveling from their, you know, they're spending their money on flights or gas or rental cars and hotels. It's, it's so, I'm always discouraged when I hear artists say they went to an award show and you know certain principles of the organization didn't greet them or was rude to them. I'm just like, these people are here to support you. Like we can't give them a smile. We can't give them helpful information. And one of the things that I express to the team, even if someone asks you something and you're not, that's not your area specifically, or you don't know the answer, I always tell them, Hey, I tell you what, I don't know the answer to that, but let me go get you with the person that does, or I'll get the answer and I'll be right back. Those little small gestures are things that we pride ourselves on at the Avidity Awards because we want our artist and anyone that's has anyone that has a stakeholder with the show so you can even be an attendee the person cleaning the theater everybody matters to us and so i always tell a team we want to treat the theater staff with respect any of our um anybody that's joining us for whatever reason we want all of those individuals to be a part and ladies and gentlemen the this is our superstar that just popped on he 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 is the superstar of the whole team he is world renowned. He has played for John P. Key, for Zacardi Cortez, and so many others across the board. But we are so proud to say he is also ours. He is our music director, and that is none other than the Morgan Lightskin Turner. Hey, family. What's going on? 
<laughs> so, Carmina, if you have anything for Morgan, you, you can ask. <laughs> Not really. I'd rather talk to John. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, Morgan, of course, you know. we. <laughs> and wait, wait, hold on, pause. Everybody pause. We'll come back to Morgan in a minute. He was talking about his Stella Award. Um, I just happened to be a part of the Reach Gospel Radio family, and we took on the Stella Award this year. Yes, you did. Congratulations, Reach. Yes, okay, you did. So, Morgan. <laughs> okay, <I'm back. laughs> so, you have come on as part of the team, and you're going to officially be taking care of all of our music for the official show. Well, the pre-show and the official show. Yes, and then we're yes. going to be doing the shed and just doing a lot of great things to help us next level. Just kind of talk about it because I know you've been preparing. We're talking tonight, but yeah, Morgan has been preparing for months leading up to this point. So you're already there. We just got to get there and get ourselves together. <laughs> <laughs> kind of I, I I am super excited this year. Um, this will be my second year being a team member, but officially my first year in the MDC. And I am super excited just about, number one, um, the artists that are performing. Derek gave us a little small listening party last night to just some of the performances. And Derek knows me. I, I very, very much don't get silenced and amazed by stuff. But let me tell y'all something. The performers this year are really going to take us somewhere else. I am super, super excited. Just, I mean, they, they're taking us to the moon and beyond. If you came last year, whatever you saw in performances last year, multiply that times 100. And I'm not even trying to gaslight it. They, Their songs alone, I'm just like, wow. So already the, the performers have me excited. Uh, the band this year are going to be some guys that I've been working with for years. So I'm excited just to be back in that space. And honestly, I'm super excited about the shed that's going to happen because honestly, I know some people really look forward to just the award ceremony. But really for you musicians and singers that really, really want to mingle and network, that's the event that you really need to come to. That's the one where you can come there and ask me any question. It's going to be so many musicians in the room. And I mean, look, first of all, we're going to be in New Orleans. Let's We can put a pin in it right there. Music it's city. So, <laughs> music city. And I've already made so many connections to musicians down there that are just going to be in the building. I promise you, musicians from all over the, the state of New Orleans that are going to be there. It's going to be some a few surprise guests that are going to show up. I can't tell you who they are, but I've already made sure that they're going to be in the building. So I'm just like, man, that actually is the event that I'm looking forward to having the most fun at. I uh, Mark, oh, you, you didn't make phone calls? Oh, I didn't make phone calls already. I didn't send a text. Oh, dog it. I, I, team, I just need y'all to go in and just get Morgan some more stars today. Okay? <laughs> yeah, he, he need more stars. I mean, we're not going to be able to fly the man to New Orleans if we make his head any bigger. <laughs> he is important. He, he important. He poor part. He important. He important. I'm trying to tell y'all, we are going to have such a good good time because once again and really i don't want y'all to think this is just for the elite of the elite look if these are people if you are musicians or singers that really just want to be better sometimes you just have to surround yourself with better so you can know what's better you can never be faulted if you never make that step we're going to be in your city i'm giving you permission to come and hang out with me and everybody else that's going to be in that room that don't honestly happen it don't happen Sometimes, especially if you don't have now, y'all know we just came from Stellas. You had to have a lanyard to go everywhere. Or, you know, you just want to wait in the lobby till people come out. But no, this is a, this is a, a hands-on interactive experience. We're going to have some fun. It's not about who's the best. It's just really about being in a room and experiencing gifts that you may have never heard before. I'm telling y'all from last year, I have really just found a new love for what independent gospel artists are doing. And honestly, I'm telling y'all, from everybody that I have experienced working with the majors, these indies have no less to offer than what you have heard from the majors that you, you love. And I'm telling you now, you want to befriend these indies now? Because when they become the majors, I, befriend them now. That's all I want to say. Befriend them now. Seriously. But look, 
anything that is happening avidity you want to make sure that you get there like i said my musicians my singers my engineers my my uh uh producers all of that stuff man come and just hang out i promise you i could talk about the awards all day but really my goal is that musician shit. that's that hey come hang out with me come hang because you can't hang out with me at the show because Derek got me working i'm working working <laughs> like, right can't, I can't I can't come out and do what I did last year, you know, and be all peopleizing and all that stuff. I actually gotta work on stage this year, like for real, for real, for real. But you know, that musician shit, I'm really gonna be hosting. I'm gonna play a little bit, but I'm gonna really mix and mingle. We'll have you know some good chats. Cause once again, that's just time where information can be given and times of sharing. And honestly, one of the best things you can have in this business is information. And we will be giving all that. We're gonna have a great time. So I'm I'm super super excited. I promise y'all I am. I am not that superstar that my boss is trying to. Be. I'm the most down to person earth. And Lonnie, don't you do that? <laughs> I, I want you. I want y'all to know who my cut up buddy is or this. That that man right there. That Lonnie right there. I promise you. You want to hang out with me and him. <laughs> but, I, but I love it when you say I'm the most down to person, down to earth person. But you said I give you permission to talk to me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that part. Man, do do that. <laughs> John Walker, I gotta talk to you. John no, no, no. Walker. Come here. Can you say that one more time? I, I, we're moving uh, on. I'm John, we're moving, moving on. on. <laughs> John Walker Jr. John, John, just repeat it for me. Okay? <laughs> John Walker Jr. John. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, tell us a little bit about the role you play as part of the team of Vidity. Uh, so, uh. I give you permission to answer to ask me that. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> thank you, Morgan. Appreciate you. God bless y'all tonight. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, my role with Avidity this year, I'm I'm honestly excited uh, because I get to do. Uh, Derek has has given me the leeway to basically flex and do whatever it is and whatever gift that I flow into. And so there's not many. I, I worked. I worked some a few award shows, uh, in in some years. But this is the first one where you know the, the CEO tells you, "Hey, look, uh, I know you're able to do a lot. So we're just going to use you in whatever capacity that that you're able to flow in." And he has he has permitted me to do so. And uh, the thing I love and I appreciate about Derek is that whatever feed he's open to feedback. And so whatever feedback that we may have for him. Uh, he's like, he's like, okay, you know, I didn't think about that. Let's do that. Oh, let's see what it looks like. And then let's make it happen. And so that's one thing for sure. I greatly appreciate it. But, um, uh, I was just honored that he, that he even considered to come to new Orleans. You know, this is, this is a city that he's, he sneaks off to very often. And so for him to, uh, for him to want to come to and, and host, uh, an award show here, I was like, oh yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Let's make it happen. So of course, yeah, we We've John, don't tell all my, don't, John, don't tell all my business. Well, well, here's the thing. I I can say that because, you know, he he, he talks to us when he comes down. So we always know when he's coming. You know, this, so, oh, some saints may be mad because, you know, all, all is well. Amen. So what you're saying is you're part of the devil man too. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Be encouraged on tonight. To, to <laughs> I want to, Carmina, real quick. I want to do this before we get off because I, I need to make. First of all, I definitely got a shout out to Tammy Taylor. Yeah, one entity like Tammy. Oh my God, we go way, way back, even back to my days in the coaching music department. And Tammy used to work so diligently, um, not only just in the plat, the national platform, but also in the music department. And I just wanted to shout her out, love her. And uh, thank you, Tammy, for being on tonight. Tammy Taylor, also Marquette Middleton, uh, who, uh, other Terry Allen again. Thank you, guys. I wanted to make sure I shouted you all out um, if I didn't get a chance to say hello to everyone. But I want to make sure I acknowledged all of you and thank you for being here. Also, Terry, um, a lot of the information is on the website. Mm -hmm. And um, we are adding more um, information this week, especially about the media side mm -hmm. and red carpet and things of that sort. For presenters and everything so if you are watching and you are interested in being a presenter definitely check out our website we should have that form up i believe tonight or tomorrow so definitely check out the website i'm telling you now you guys now the website is pretty well apportioned so i want to encourage you to go on there and speaking of which carmina since we doing this let me just go on and share 
the website now so that they can see it here on the broadcast. Mm -hmm. um, so here it is right here on your screen, everybody. Um, check So check that out. Or, or actually, I got to give you that view. Excuse me. Let's do that first. All right. There we go. All right. So there's our website, everybody. Um, so go ahead and get on the website. It's got pretty much if any information you want to see. How to join Tecma, how to vote. Our merch is there. The singers and musicians shared information. You can book your host hotel um, there. You can become a sponsor there. You can sign up to be a vendor and all of that. So Terry, Alan, I promise you, my friend, I am not ignoring you. I want to make sure you know I see your messages and I'm going to make sure that between Carmina and I, you're going to have every single bit of question you have answered. I promise you that, my friend. You will get, we we are we are not ignoring you. I want you to know that we we don't want to ignore anybody. But um, but yes, guys. So this is our website. So go on the website and check it out. And you can also check out um, you know, our photo gallery from last year. We had a great time last year. Had wonderful people that came with us. We had Fred Jerkins was there, Damon Stewart, Tracy Bethay, uh, Jay Williams, Mar uh, Marquise Jelks, and Aldrin McCullough, social media influencers. It was really a great time and a great night. So those are some of the pictures from last year's show. But I just wanted to show you guys, if you need your host hotel, you can just click on the host hotel link, and it will take you over and show you how you can get your hotel. All right. Um, the Astor Crown Plaza is our main host hotel. It is literally, you guys, in the heart of the French Quarter. It is right there at the corner of Canal Street and Bourbon Street. All right. And that's where it is. And you can click this little link here and you it will take you to the uh, to book your room. All right. You can become a sponsor, a vendor. You can sign up to be a volunteer. And guess what? We need seat fillers, guys. So if you want to be a seat filler. Um, you, that's a free way for you to get into the show. Now, seat fillers, just know that after, you know, when people come back to their seat, you got to get up and we're going to move you somewhere else <laughs> to fill another seat. <laughs> but it's a free way, a good way for you to come and uh, see what we got going on. And Carmina, I want to do this too, because I think this is important. I want people to know what they're going to experience at the show itself. Okay. You have we have a live horn section. Last year was the first year we had live horns, and it was absolutely incredible. Okay, it is absolutely incredible. All right, those background singers, and this year we've added a, a sixth background singer. I'm just telling y'all, like five piece band, like production. This is a true production. Video cameras teleprompter lights um i just met last night i actually just got back from new orleans um this morning last night i met with justin our uh, lighting director that's going to be handling the lighting for the stage the stuff he has come up with for the show is going to be absolutely incredible i'm i got excited all over again after meeting with him last night i just want you all to know as independent artists we're going through all of this effort for you because I believe you and we believe collectively as a team, you guys deserve the best, right? You deserve to have that experience. And so from our red carpet to all parts in between, we want you guys to come and have a wonderful weekend. I, my prayer truly is everyone that comes that, that spends their money to come and be a part of our show. I want you to walk away from that weekend saying, wow, what a great time. Not only did we have a good time in the Lord and we were encouraged spiritually, but we were encouraged emotionally. We were encouraged with just love and camaraderie and fellowship. I want that to be your experience. So we're working very hard, the whole team. We're working hard, y'all. I promise you we are <laughs> to make sure that the show is incredible. But the show is going to be unlike anything you ever heard before. Morgan said it best. These performers this year are not playing. I'm telling y'all, they are not playing at all. It's going to be an amazing time. So I want to encourage every one of you watching me right now. If you have that weekend free, make it your business to be in New Orleans, right? From October 12th through the 15th for the 8th Annual Avidity Awards. It's the biggest night in independent gospel music, right? And our theme this year is New Beginnings. I truly believe, I said this in my, uh, I had a leadership meeting with some local uh, New Orleans pastors and music uh, uh, leaders there yesterday. And I told them, 
I said, you guys, I really think that New Orleans is going to really be the page turner for this show. And I am excited about that because I consider New Orleans my second home. To John's point, I do spend a vast amount of time in New Orleans every year. I love that city. I love its people. And what I'm really excited about, Carmina, is the people are going to see a lot of the New Orleans culture integrated into our show and events, right? And I don't want to give stuff away because we got some surprises that y'all are going to pop up and see. You just got to be there, right? You just got to be there and then you will see it. But back to you, Carmina. All right, y'all. Well, we are over time. Thank you, those of you that hung out with me. I know some people had to go, but thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are media, press, print media, don't care what it is, connect with me. We'd love to give you more information. Definitely want to invite you out to be a part of the red carpet. Be on site and actually see it, live it, be a part of it with us. So definitely connect with me. I'll be happy to get you any and all information. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that joined us tonight. Thank you, team. I know you all are working so hard, but you sacrificed this time tonight to help really help people understand what the Avidity Awards is all about. Thank you. Thank you. Now they hear from our hearts. I think that makes the difference. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. I will allow you. No, no. I give you permission to dismiss this service. Okay. That whole permission thing is throwing me. Okay, so again, I want to thank Carmina Barnett, our director of press and media. Again, like she said, if you are a member of press in any way, media, radio, um, print, online, blogs, you got to set up in your mama basement with a camera and a, oh, they can't come, Carmina? Oh, they can't do it. Oh, I need okay. at least three people. Oh, they need three, at least three. Okay, so if you got at least three people, then she said you can. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hit Carmita up. You can also register online um, as media as well. Um, I want to encourage you guys again. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, John, Elton, Lonnie, Robert, Terry, Morgan. And y'all stick around after we go off the air, those of you that can, because I, I need to share something with you guys, the team. But for everyone else, thank you guys so much. Again, the 8th Annual Avidity Awards. It's the biggest night in independent gospel music coming to New Orleans, Louisiana, October 12th through the 15th. I need you to make your way there. Listen, all roads lead there. The airways lead there. The trainways lead there. The busways lead there. Even if you got a little bicycle and Pat and Turner, make your way down. Uh, you know what Pat and Turner is? My, my old pastor used to say, Pat the block and turn the corner. <laughs> I just had to go off screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So make sure, make sure that you make your way down to New Orleans and be with us. We're going to have a wonderful time. We can't wait to see all of you. Um, those that we are going to meet for the first time, we can't wait to meet you. We can't wait to fellowship with you, laugh with you, worship with you, praise God with you. All of those things we want to do with you um, that weekend. Okay. We love you. The website, one more time is the avidity awards.com. And I did forget two things real quick. I mean, I forgot. I'm sorry. This is our new merch. You guys, I am indie gospel. All right. I want y'all to support that movement. You can get this on our website at the avidity awards.com forward slash merch, and you can purchase your t-shirt. We are going to be sporting that, um, on Friday. Friday is when we're going to wear that shirt because we're going to wear it at the pre-show and we're going to wear it at uh, um, all of the events afterwards. So it says, I am chosen. I am blessed. I am favored. I am anointed. I am deserving. I am indie gospel. So make sure that you support our Avidity Awards apparel and we will be wearing that that week. <laughs> I love you. And as you can see, my team is crazy. Also, finally, if you are a millennial or in Generation Z, please join our Millennial Advisory Board. They're already doing a good job. Shout out to Dwanique Smith, who is our board chair, doing a fantastic job. Kyron, all of them that are part of that Next Gen Advisory Board team. I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you want to be a part of the board, listen, we're looking for people. Um, if you're a millennial or in Gen Z, listen. Social media and your specialties are marketing, promotions, finance, fundraising, event planning, graphic design, photography. Come on and sign up and be a part of our next gen. Because I know, Carmina, very well that if we do not tap into the generation that's coming behind us, they are what's going to help. They're going to be the ones to help push us into the future. And we, I believe a lot of entities become stale and stagnant when you don't have young, visionary minds in the conversation and at the table. So this next gen advisory board 
is for young people. We want to see you. We want to hear your ideas. We want to see what you have to offer for us and our industry. So come on and be a part of that. Thank you guys again for being on tonight. I love you guys. And we will see y'all at the 8th Annual Divinity Awards in New Orleans. Y'all hear me? We'll see you then. I love y'all. Team, y'all stay on. We're going to end the broadcast now. Bye, y'all.